Hello friends, welcome back. So in this video, I will be discussing about how you can build yourself a roadmap to become an automation engineer. Suppose if you are a manual tester or you are a part of any software engineering role and you would like to move towards test automation, then this video will be very useful. I will be providing the complete roadmap how you can become an automation engineer in a more detailed way. So let us move on to understand what are the different stages or paths you should take to become an automation engineer. The first thing you should do here is in order to become a software test automation engineer, you should know the basics. It could be software testing processes or development processes, SDLC, STLC, VNV model, Agile model, as well as development methodologies as well. That is one part you should know. Then the second one is you should also know, know the concepts of web applications, how the web applications are, are built, how mobile apps are built, how APIs are working, web services are working. At least you should know the theoretical knowledge in order to take up any automation role because in order to build yourself a test automation engineer means you should know the concepts of software testing plus development methodologies as well. Along with that, you should also be an expertise on a given particular domain. It is not just uh, take some test cases and get it automated. That is not the overall goal to become a software test engineer. You should also have a certain idea whenever you are trying to debug or whenever you are trying to understand the functionality, you should have a knowledge on a particular domain which you are going to work and as well as which you are going to automate it. And the second thing is in order to become a test automation engineer, then you should learn a programming languages. Most of the time, either uh, Java will be used for test automation, Python, JavaScript. These are uh, very crucial and very important uh, programming languages normally being used in uh, most of the test automation tools. Along with that, you should also know how to operate the a central repository where your code, your data, everything you will get stored by using Git technology or a Git up here. That is the second aspect you should learn along with your programming skills. The third aspect is learn the integration aspects. As and when you check into GitHub, it will try to build and deploy and run the application. Because of that, you should know this Jenkins and Cucumber as well. This then the third thing is the core of test automation itself. Here you should know the complete automation processes and methods being used to automate the test scripts. And also you should know the concepts of overall uh, framework development and its concepts. It could be modular driven framework, data driven framework, keyword driven framework, or whatever the hybrid framework, whatever we talk about, at least you should have a strong understanding of these overall processes, methods, framework concepts. Plus you should also bring a strategy and planning aspects for automation because you cannot go and automate every aspects of uh, test automation here. We have to go with a particular strategy and planning, which one we am going to automate, which one I am not going to automate. Based on that, I am going to bring an automation here. Because of that, strategy and planning is very crucial. Then the fourth one is, this is very important. Once you are able to understand the overall uh, test automation concept the, the fourth step you should learn is based on the which kind of automation you wanted to bring which area you wanted to work whether you are going to work upon uh, desktop automation or whether you are going to work for a mobile application automation or web application or api automation or it could be performance or security testing so based on that you should be required to pick up the test automation tools for learning. If you are picking for desktop automation, then you should learn QTP and test complete. If you are looking for mobile app automation, then you should look for APM, which is completely open source automation tool. We have a Catalan Studio test complete. 
and if you are looking for any e-commerce application or a web application then you should automate using selenium catalan studio and test complete if you are looking for api test automation then you should uh, well versed with uh, soap ui and postman these four areas more of a functional uh, testing scope and if, if you are looking for non-functional stuff or automation then you should look for uh, performance automation tool where geometer or load run can be used and security testing we can use a burp and sonar cube as an automation tools you have to decide which area you will be working upon whether you work for desktop mobile web api so based on that you should pick up the automation tool appropriately and you should start learning on it as a fifth stage in your uh, roadmap which is you should contributing it now till now we have learned various things now it is a time to contributing it now how will you contribute it by working on uh, some sample projects or work with uh, various automation testers by shadowing uh, them or supporting them as well as if you get an opportunity to work as a freelancer you, you can do that and also you can join various uh, automation community or group where you can contribute your knowledge your expertise whatever you learn then you can start building yourself towards becoming a great experts in test automation area this thing you should do is you should build a strong resume or a strong profile you should continue to learn as well contributing as well plus you should build a strong profile by keeping all your experience in your profile and you should start sharing with your existing company or a new company for look out of the test automation roles this is the overall journey you should take to move from a manual tester or any software engineer if they wanted to move towards test automation engineer means they should follow this sixth milestone strategy definitely they can become a successful test automation engineer i am hoping you guys got a clear idea what is the overall road map to become a successful test automation engineer if you guys really like this video then please give a thumbs up to this video if you, if you guys are not subscribed to this testing shala then do subscribe to this channel thanks for watching this video bye for now take care